Hey everyone, Joe here. In this video, I'm gonna go over how to loop back your Focusrite Scarlett Gen 1 or Gen 2 audio interface, or any audio interface that has a SPDIF connection on the back. Uh, how to loop it back to record your PC audio, whether that's out of a, a DAW, if you wanna record that, um, or off of a video, whatever. Just how to record your PC audio um, back into your system and you'll be able to uh, record your voice at the same time. So I'm gonna show you how to do both of those. So I recently uploaded a video on how to record your PC audio, specifically your DAW, your voice, your screen, and your webcam at the same time. Now, for that, on that video, I showed you how to use Voice Meter, uh, this software here, um, how to use it to route your audio to, to record whatever your PC is playing back. Now this works, but it's a bit clunky and there's another way of doing things. What I also mentioned in that video is if you have a, an audio interface with a loopback feature, for example, the Focusrite Scarlett Generation 3 devices, there's a specific output that you can record, um, which will record your PC audio, but not all audio interfaces do this. In fact, not many of them will do at all and I've realized there's a much easier way of doing this uh, on your earlier Focusrite devices, and it uses the SPDIF connection on the back, which I'll leave a, a picture on the screen now just to show you what I'm talking about. I would show you on my device itself, but then I'll have to pull the thing out and you won't be able to hear me. So just to give you an understanding, I'm using OBS Studio at the moment uh, to record my voice. As you can see there, I've got the mic um, plugged into my interface and that's recording. It's also recording a screen capture and it's recording the webcam as well. But if you have a SPDIF connection on your, on your device, you don't need to use voice meter or any other routing software. You can use this SPDIF connection. So what you do is you get a cable, a SPDIF cable. It has to be a proper digital SPDIF cable, not just an analog cable with the same connector, that won't work. Um, but once you've got the right cable, you can basically plug one end into the output, which is where all the audio is outputted um, for if you were gonna plug in speakers using the SPDIF connection. And then you plug the other end of the cable back in to the input. And then in your Scarlett Mix Control, which will be installed if you have a Focusrite device, uh, if you have another audio interface, you should have something similar. Uh, you find your SPDIF outputs and set them to DAW1 and DAW2. Two. You could just do one of these um, and it would probably still work. Most DAWs are going to output to, to either one or two or both. I just do both to be safe. Then you open up a DAW, another one, um, or you could do it within uh, within your, your main DAW if you were recording for something else. But I'm trying to output the Pro Tools signal so you can hear it for when I'm doing tutorials and things. So I've opened up a session of Cakewalk as well. And I've set the input for, for a channel to record an audio channel to the SPDIF output. You can see there, uh, left focus, right, USB SPDIF L. I'm using Cakewalk rather than Audacity or I've got free version of PreSonus installed as well because they don't let you pick the SPDIF output. Um, but Cakewalk does, it does a lot of things for free. Um, so you can see I've got that recording. Now when I hit play on Pro Tools, it's recording into Cakewalk, which is amazing. So much easier than using uh, voice meter if you have an interface with a speed of output. And then once you've hit stop on that, you can save that audio file. Uh, and you can stop recording on your OBS and that will have the your voice recording built into it uh, on the on the video and then you just put the two together you line it up and boom you've got your uh, DAW output your voice your uh, screen recording and your webcam and all it needs is a simple like I paid three quid for this cable just plugged it in the back and uh, yeah, very easy. But one thing, just just make sure you've got this track muted because otherwise you're gonna, uh, if, you're, if you're monitoring it as well, it's gonna create a, a, a signal loop. So you're gonna be monitoring um, what's going back in. It's just gonna get extremely loud probably. I don't know, I haven't tried it, but that's what would happen. 
um, because I didn't want my ears to burst. So, yep, simple way of doing things. Uh, if you if your interface doesn't have this spit if out, you might have another kind of output you can do a similar thing with um, to kind of jerry rig this loop back thing together. But if not, again, I've got that video. I'll leave a link in the description of how to do it with voice meter and route things internally, uh, which works. It's it just takes a little bit longer to set up and and you have to mess around with your playback engines in your DAW and stuff. But yeah, just a quick one. Let me know in the comment section below. What audio interface do you have and how are you recording your PC audio? Are you going to give this a go? And as always, if you want more recording and mixing tips and tutorials, just hit that subscribe button. And as always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.